What is an educated Filipinos by Francisco Benitez? What is an educated Filipino and what qualities should distinguish him today? The conception of education and of what an educated man is varies in response to fundamental changes in the details and aims of society. In our country and during this transition stage in our national life, what are the qualities which an educated man should possess? Great changes have taken place in the nature of our social life during the last 40 years. The contact with the Americans and their civilization has modified many of our old customs, traditions, and practices, some for the worse and many for the better. The means of communication have improved and therefore better understanding exists among the different sections of our country. Religious freedom has developed religious tolerance in our people. The growth of public schools and establishment of democratic institutions have developed our national consciousness both in strength and solidarity. With this growth in national consciousness and national spirit among our people, we witness the corresponding rise of a new conception in education. The training of an individual for the duties and privilege of citizenship, not only for his own happiness and efficiency, but also for national service and welfare. In the old days, education was a matter of private concern. Now it is a public function. And the state not only has the duty, but it has the right as well to educate every member of the community. The old as well as the young, women as well as men, not only for the good of our individual, but also for the self-preservation and self-protection of the state itself. Our modern public school system has been established as a safeguard against the shortcomings and dangers of the democratic government and democratic institutions. In the light of social changes, we come again to the question, what qualities should distinguish the educated Filipino today. I venture to suggest that educated Filipinos should first be distinguished by the power to the old. The Oriental excels in reflective thinking, he is a philosopher. The Occidental is a doer, he managed things, men and affairs. The Filipino of today needs more of his power to translate reflection into action. I believe that we are coming more and more to the conviction that no Filipino has the right to be considered educated unless he is prepared and ready to take an active and useful part of the work, life, and progress of our country as well as in the progress of the world.